Remember when Lauren Boebert got kicked out of Beetlejuice? Well, it turns out Up Our Ass wasn't the only place she was blowing smoke. You see, while she only pleaded guilty to laughing and singing too loud, her office denied she was vaping, saying there had been a misunderstanding from someone sitting near her who hadn't noticed the heavy fog machines and electronic cigarettes used during the play. Well, new surveillance footage determined that was a lie. I guess Fog Machine is Lauren Boebert's newest nickname. Now I'm sick and tired of talking about Lauren Boebert just as much as you guys are hearing about her. But I'm going to pay Puff the Magic Dragon here a compliment. No one, and I mean no one, represents MAGA better than Lauren Boebert. And she's just a piece of the puzzle for the problem that is MAGA. And how you people on the right have been duped. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to claim that every politician on the left is perfect. But if I was deceived, it was under the notion that they were trying to actually help the American people. You people on the right were scammed because their platform was hate and bigotry. And you still think you're on the right side of history. You still refuse to believe that Make America Great Again was one of Donald Trump's biggest cons of all time. And the politicians that rode on those coattails, Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Ron DeSantis, preaching conservative values, preaching traditional morals, attacking marginalized groups, all to hide the fact that they themselves have their own demons and are the actual train wrecks here. And these are the people we're supposed to believe with the Joe Biden impeachment. Lauren Boebert has no problem scaring you with words like socialism, so you can vote against your own interests when it comes to things like free school lunches for children, services for veterans, health care, but has no problem flaunting her socialist boobs around town paid for by taxpayer money. She stands on stages of megachurches preaching about Jesus. Meanwhile, she actually spends her Sundays at a production of Beetlejuice getting to second base with her boyfriend. While she's still legally married. Oh, there's footage of that too. He briefly had a grasp on the situation before Usher's return. I guess that's what he means when he says you're a handful. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of the hypocrisy and the projection and the grifting? The problem isn't the politicians. The politicians don't vote themselves in. The problem is you. And then you attack people in your own party. Some who have, I don't know, common sense like Mitt Romney or John McCain, God rest his soul who tell you that Trump is dangerous and that MAGA was the worst thing to happen to this country. And you turn around and you call them rhinos because of your refusal to admit that you got scammed. So that pushes you further and further right. So far right that you don't even care that there's actual Nazis standing on overpasses in Florida cheering for the same people you're voting for. And then you want someone like me to find middle ground with people like you. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the gaslighting. I'm sick of you guys pretending that you care about this country. I'm sick of you guys telling me that I should care about politicians who have stocks when your party has opened the door for fascism in this country. But what do I know, right? I'm just an evil, woke liberal. Clowns. Anyways, bye.